as far as like surgeons wanting to learn a new operation, okay. you know, the, the Sadie is, uh, is really growing in popularity. Yeah. The biggest issue though, is that it's not typically covered by insurances. Okay, okay. So, I mean, but, but like whenever I ask the reps, like, you know, what videos do surgeons want to watch? Okay. They, they'll say Sadie, they, Sadie okay. you know, so, um, yeah, I mean, the, the Sadie is, is, uh, probably a surgery that's grown in popularity the most across the board, Sadie and duodenal switch. Okay. Um, you know, those surgeries, you know, are, are, there's going to be more of those done every year. Okay. Uh, you know, as, as time goes by, um, with all the sleeve patients, uh, that, uh, gain their weight back along with just realizing the shortcomings of gastric bypass and sleeve and understanding that malabsorptive operations are more effective, um, they're gonna continue to gain in popularity. Um, the duodenal switch is really good, but it does have a lot of issues with diarrhea and bad gas and those kind of things. And most patients, because the weight loss is so good, they, they wouldn't trade it. But I guarantee you, if they could have an, a, a surgery that would give them the same weight loss and have less okay. of those, those issues, they would choose it. And that's why I typically do offer the single anastomosis duodenal switch over the traditional duodenal switch if, if insurance is not a factor. Um, and uh, those patients do extremely well. Um, and, um, you know, I really think that eventually insurance is going to need to start covering it uh, because the, the sleeve uh, is an operation that's really right for a, a very f finite uh, patient category. And there's really just a lot of patients out there that need a better surgery that's gonna last longer uh, than a sleeve.